Arizona? Yep. All right, we are the Rod of Instruction, and we are here to bring the true word of Christ and to uh, let the people know that um, Israelites are not supposed to be racist, man. And the Most High is not racist either. And we're going to go right into the law. You get Exodus, Exodus chapter 22. The Israelites are not racist, man, when you read the Old Testament. Even when you go into the New Testament, Christ was never racist. The Most High was, was never racist. So let's see what the law says. Uh, Exodus 22 and 21. Exodus chapter 22, verse 21. Thou shalt not, thou shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him. Right, this is the law in Exodus, man. You say you, you should not oppress or vex a stranger. Keep going. For ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Right, so we were strangers in the land of Egypt. So these other nations, they're strangers to us. And the law says you shall not vex a stranger, man. But let's see what this word vex means. Let's go into the Webster Dictionary. We're going to go into the Webster uh, Dictionary to see what vex means. Uh, you can read the uh, definition. Highlight part. Vex. To bring trouble, distress, or articulate, articulation to annoy continually with little irritation. That's right. To annoy, man. To annoy. So you're not supposed to annoy a stranger. To bring trouble or distress. So the Most High said you're not supposed to do that to the other nations. Sure. You can read the third verse in vexation. Vexation. Cause of trouble or annoyance. Right. Annoyance, man. Because uh, a lot of racist Israelites, they preach on the corners. And they see so-called white people walk down. And they'd be like, you're the devil. You're going to hell. But the Most High and the law say you're not supposed to do that, man. You're not supposed to vex a stranger. Right. Right. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 33 and if a stranger sojourn with thee in your land you should not vex him right you should not vex him keep going verse 34 but the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you right so if a stranger uh, come in within your camp he gotta be um, like one born among you man keep going thou shalt love him as thyself thou shalt what Thou shalt love him as thyself. No, uh, go be on the news and and, and, and say you're going to rape the so-called white woman. <laughs> Thou shalt love him as thyself. That's right. You shall love the other nations as you, um, just like how you love yourself. Keep going. For ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord, your, your God. Right. Proving that's talking about the other nations. That's and right. this is not talking about the Israelite foreigners, man. That's right. Because when you read this, it says, um, I'm born among you. So, but the Israelites, the uh, strength, the uh, the Israelite foreigners, they already got the law, they already got the commandments, man. So they don't got to be um, born among you, cause they already um, got the law. So it proves that this is talking about um, the other nations, man, right. the strangers. And you should love them as how you love yourself. Sure. You can go to Exodus again, chapter uh, twenty-three, verse nine. Exodus chapter twenty-three, verse nine. Also, thou shalt not oppress a stranger. For ye know the heart of a stranger, seeing ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. That's right. Again, man, through the law, uh, this is the law of Moses, man. Actually, the law of the Most High. You shall not vex or oppress a stranger, man. And it says, you know the heart of a stranger. We know the heart of a stranger. We got brought over here in, in captivity on car cargo slave ships. We, we already know, man, we go through the hard bondage. So we already know the heart of a stranger, man. So why would you treat the stranger um, like how, how they treated us? We get Matthew 5 and 17. So that's the law. And, the, and, and racist Israelites, they always want to uphold the law. But how come they don't want to uphold the law of the stranger? That's right. How come they don't want to uphold those laws, man? When Christ came, he didn't do away with those laws, man. That's right. They always want to say, oh, the, oh, oh, the, oh, the Christians. That's right. um, Christ, Christ didn't come to do away with the Sabbath. All right, so racist Israelites. How Christ never said he came to do away um, with the law of the stranger. That's right. That's right. Prove that. Prove your point, man. Get yeah, 5 and 17. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law Keep going. or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Right, so Christ didn't come to do away with the law of the stranger, man. If so, prove your point, man. It says prove all things in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. Because um, the rod of destruction, we're not racist, man. Look at all our videos. We've never been racist, man. We've never been racist, man. 
And the Most High never um, told the Israelites to be racist. And we're going to prove it more, man. We're going to prove that the strangers are supposed to get the tithes, man. We're going to prove that the strangers are supposed to keep the Sabbath. That's right. We're going to prove that the strangers were supposed to uh, keep the feast days, man. And even when Christ comes, they're going to keep the feast days. Sure. Yeah, hear the whole conclusion of the whole matter, man. That's in the law, too. Keep going. Verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Right. Nothing's going to pass from the law, man, because heaven and earth is still here. Sure. Keep going. Till all be fulfilled. Keep going. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so. Right, so if you break one of the commandments and you teach men so, to hate the so-called white man, uh, to hate, to hate uh, the so-called Chinese. Stranger. Right, to hate the strangers. If you teach men so, like all, like a lot of these so-called Israelites is doing. Keep going. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Right, you might not make it into the kingdom, man. So you better follow this law. You better follow the law. Keep going. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be great in the kingdom of heaven. Right, so if you teach the law of the stranger, to love the stranger, uh, to, to love him like he's born among you, you're going to be called great in the kingdom of heaven, man. Sure. You go to uh, Deuteronomy 29. Right? So yeah, man, you got to uphold, if you want to uphold the law, you got to uphold, um, uphold all the law. You can't just pick and choose, man. You can't pick and choose. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 1. These are the words of the covenant. Of the what? Of the covenant. Which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab. That's right. So the Most High gave Moses, or told Moses to go to the children of Israel to make the covenant, right? Um, you go to verse, verse 9. Verse 9. Keep therefore the words of this covenant. Right. So keep the words of this covenant. Keep going. And do them. And do that. He's talking to the children of Israel. Keep going. That ye may prosper in a land that ye do. Keep going. Ye stand this day, all of you, before the Lord, your God, your captains of your tribes, your elders, right. and your officers were all men of Israel. Right. All men of Israel was there, right? Mo Moses giving them the covenant. Keep going. Your little ones, your wives. And thy stranger. And thy what? And thy stranger. And thy what? And thy stranger. And the stranger, man. <laughs> Keep going. Right, man. That is in thy camp, from the hewer of thy wood unto the drawer of thy water, that thou shouldest enter into the covenant with the Lord thy God. Thou shalt enter into what? The covenant with the Lord thy God. The strangers did what? Enter into the covenant with the Lord thy God. So the strangers even enter into the covenant with the Lord, man. So what are y'all talking about, you racist Israelites, man? Y'all promoting racism, man. We even on the, we even on the news now, man. I'm not gonna say we because we're not part of y'all, man. We don't represent y'all. We represent the Most High. They have right. They blaspheme in the Word of God, man. That's right. Blaspheme. They blaspheme yeah. the Word of God, man. Yeah, yeah. Blaspheme the Word of God, man. Keep going. So the strangers entered into the covenant. We read Deuteronomy chapter 29. So that was a mixed multitude. It wasn't just the Israelites who came out of Egypt. It was a mixed multitude who came out. Keep going. That thou shouldest enter into the covenant with the Lord thy God and into his oath, which the Lord thy God make it with thee this day, that he may establish thee to today for a people unto himself. Verse 1. Keep going. That he may be unto thee a God, as he has said unto thee, and as he had sworn unto thy father, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, neither with you only do I make this covenant and this oath. Right, not just you only, right. not just the Israelites. Keep going. Verse 15. But with him that standeth here with us this day. Woo! Who is standing there? The strangers are standing there, man. That's right. So what can you say? Nothing. You can't say nothing, uh, uh, not against us. You can't say nothing against his word, man. That's you right. can't go and buck up against the um the word of the Most High, cause the word of the Most High in Hebrew says it's like a two edged sword. Know what I mean, so you're not you you can't bring a butter knife to a a, a gunfight, man. And this is what, what this is uh, what this is, man. Israelites are not supposed to be racist, according to Scripture, man. Not according to my private interpretation. Right. And how can you be a light to the Gentiles if a Gentile walk up, you tell them that they the devil? That's right. That's right. What kind of light is that? Darkness. Right. He's bringing right, darkness. Christ said it'd be a light. Yeah. 
you get uh that's a form of witchcraft too. Um they they preaching that doctrine and programming the people to believe that. That's a form of witchcraft. You, get Ezekiel, you know, using the Bible to do that, man. That's that's blasphemy, man. That's right. Ezekiel 47. Can you have you read enough something else? Esther? Esther? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, man. So yeah, man. So we read how the strangers uh went into the uh, the covenant in Deuteronomy. We read how um if a stranger uh live among you. So join among you, uh, they're supposed to be treated like uh, one born among you. That's right. So let's go, let's prove this more. Let's go to Esther. This is Esther chapter 3. Yeah, they never read the parts of this Bible. They always want to criti criticize the Christians. But what about um, these so-called racist Israelites? Esther chapter 3 verse 1. Hmm. Esther chapter 3 verse 1. After these things did Ahasuerus promote Haman, the son of Hamada, the Agite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him. Right, so this is Haman. Haman was from another nation. He was from another nation, and they set him up to be king. Keep going. Verse 2. And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and referenced Haman, for the king had so commanded concerning him. Right, so everybody bowed to Haman. Remember, he was from another nation, and everybody <laughs> bowed to him. Keep going. Oh, but Mordecai bowed not. Mordecai, so like Mordecai, that bowed not, nor did him reference. Right. So Mordecai was a Jew, and we're going to prove that. So Mordecai didn't bow to Haman. Why? Because all glory goes to the Most High. Right. And second of all, Haman was from another nation. Keep going. Verse three. Then the king's servants, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai. Why transgressing thou the king's commandment? So they went to Mordecai, who was a Jew. They was like, why are you transgressing the commandment of the king? You better bow down to Haman. Keep going. Now it came to pass, when they spake daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them, that they told Haman to see whether Morde Mordecai matters would stand. For he had told them that he was a Jew. So, so Mordecai, you know what? I'm a Jew, man. Mordecai was, I was a Jew. Keep going. Verse 5, and when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reference, then was Haman full of wrath. That's right. Uh, you go to verse um, verse 13. Verse 13, and the letters were sent by post, and to all the king's provinces, to destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish all Jews. That's right. So, so Haman was really mad. He was mad, so he sent out a decree and a letter to kill um, all the Jews, man. To kill all the Jews. Keep going. Both young and old, little children, and women, in one day, even upon the thirteenth day of the month. That's right. You go to Esther. Um, go to chapter uh, eight. Chapter eight. So um, we're just gonna skip through the story. You can read it on your own time. But um, Haman was mad, so he wanted to kill all the Jews, man. Little ones, maids. It didn't matter. He wanted to kill all the Jews because Mordecai didn't want to bow down to him. Uh, go to Esther chapter 8 verse um, 9 Esther chapter 8 verse 9 Then were the king's scribes called at that time In the third month That is the month of Savan On the three and twentieth day thereof And it was written according to all That Mordecai commanded unto the Jews And to the lieutenants And the de deputies and rulers of the providence Which are from the uh, Which are from India Unto Ethiopia and hundred and twenty and seven providence unto every providence according to the written writings thereof and unto every people after their language and to the Jews according to their writings and according to their language right so so Mordecai understood that Haman was about to he sent out a decree to kill all the Jews so Mordecai was like you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my people we about to go battle man what verse you at? Verse 10. Verse 10, keep going. Verse 10, and he wrote in the king, sorry, and he wrote in the king Hazaria's name and sealed it with the king's ring and sent letters by post on horseback and riders on mules, camels, and young dromedaries. Keep going. Wherein the king granted the Jews, which were in every city, to gather themselves together and to stand for their life, to destroy, to slay, and to cause to perish all the power of the people and providence that would assault them. That's both both little ones and women and both little ones and women 
and to take the spoil of them for prey. Right, so Mordecai wants to destroy them, man. The Jews got together and wanted to destroy all the people of Haman because Haman wanted to destroy all the Jews. You go to verse um, convert, uh, 15. Verse 15. And Mordecai went out from the presence of the king and royal apparel of blue and white and with a great crown of gold with a garment of fine linen and purple. And the city of Shushan rejoiced and was glad. Keep going. The Jews had light and gladness and joy and honor. Right, so because the Jews overcame Haman and his people. They won the battle. Keep right. going. Verse 17. And in every province and in every city. In every province and every city. Keep going. Whithersoever the king commanded. commanded uh-huh. And his decree came. That's right. And the Jews had joy and gladness, mm -hmm. a feast and a good day. Keep and on. many of the people of the land became Jews. They became what? Many of the people of the land became Jews. The other nations yeah. became what? Jews. Right, they became Jews, man. Yeah. They converted unto the Jews, man. So what can you say? So if Israelites supposed to be racist, how come the other nations are converting um, it, unto like being Jews, man? That's right. If Israelites supposed to be racist. That's right. If the Most High is racist. How come the other nations uh, want to be a Jew? Keep going. Sure. You finish that off. Oh, that was the whole That was it? All right. You get Ezekiel 47. Ezekiel 47, 21. So shall ye divide this land unto you, to you according to... It's lucky. According to the tribes of Israel. That's right. So they, um, basically, they're going to divide the inheritance to the children of Israel. Keep going. And it shall come to pass that as ye shall divide it by lot for an inheritance unto, unto you and to the strangers that... Unto the what? And to the strangers Keep going. that sojourn among you. Right, so the inheritance not only is going to be for the children of Israel, it's also, also is going to be for the strangers, man. That's sure. talking about the kingdom. Right, and that's talking about yep. the kingdom of heaven. Sure. Keep going. We shall be got children unto you, and they shall be unto you as born in the country among the children of Israel. That's right, man. We just read that in the law. Keep going. That's right. They shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel. That's right, man. So they're going to have the inheritance when the kingdom of heaven comes as well, man. Uh, you go to... Uh, yeah, finish that? yeah, you can finish that. And it shall come to pass that it... And it shall come to pass that it... In what tribe the strangers shall journey there shall ye give him his, his inheritance, saith the Lord God. Right, says who? The Lord God. Says the Lord God, man. Not the so-called racist Israelites, <laughs> man. We are not racist. The Most High don't promote being racist. That's right. The Most High don't promote none of that, man. And y'all got, I mean, y'all, every idle word, man. Christ said that every idle word is going to be um, held against y'all. So y'all better repent. Y'all uh, better repent and keep the law, the whole law, to the best of your ability, man. And one of the laws is the law, the law of the stranger. You got that Exodus chapter 12, verse 47. Exodus chapter 12, verse 47. All the congregation of Israel shall keep it. Right. All the congregation of Israel shall keep it, right? That's talking about Israel, right? Yeah. Keep going. Verse 48. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee. Wait, hold up. So the, the, that verse he just read talk about the children of Israel. Now it says what? And when a stranger. Right, two different nas uh, nations, man. Now when the stranger, keep going. Shall sojourn with thee. Shall, shall live with you. And will keep the Passover to the Lord. Keep the what? The Passover to the Lord. No, they're the so-called white man. They're the devil. They're not supposed to keep the Passover. To keep the Passover to the Lord. Man, what Bible are they reading, man? The new international racist Bible, man? <laughs> what Bible are they reading? It says the stranger is going to keep the Passover. Keep going. Let all his males be circumcised. Be circumcised. So this is not talking about Israelite foreigners. Because the Israelites already know to keep the Passover. Yes, they already know to be circumcised. So this is talking about other nations. Keep uh -huh. going. I think they're reading the KKK version. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> reading the KK version, man. Where did you get that at, man? <laughs> Down south? Keep going. <laughs> and, then, and then let them, and then let him come there and keep it. And he shall be as one that is born Ooh. in the land. Keep going. For no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. That's right. What verse you are? 49. That's it. 49. 
Yeah, no, 49. Yeah, one 49. Verse 49, one, one Lord shall be to him that's humble, and unto the stranger that's the journey among you. That's right, man. It's the law that uh, if you're a homeborn and the law if you're a stranger, man. So we just read that. You go to Exodus chapter 20. We just read that the uh, um, the strangers are going to keep the Passover, right? That's right. Let's see what else the strangers are supposed to do. Go to Exodus chapter 20. 20 and 8. Exodus chapter 20 and 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Right. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. A lot of these so-called Israelites always go to this verse. Remember the Sabbath day, keep going. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Right, six days. And a lot of these racist Israelites don't even know what the real Sabbath is, man. That's right. Sabbath is a, a seven day continual cycle, man. It's not based off the moon, man. That's There's, right. The Most High never said it. Moses, nowhere in the, uh, in the scripture does it say that the Sabbath is based off the moon, man. Keep going. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy maid servant, nor thy maid man servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy nor the stranger. Nor what? Nor the stranger. Keep going. That is within thy gates. That's right. So the strangers are all supposed to keep the, the Shabbat, man. That's right. The man. Sabbath, man. So what Bible are they reading? Right. And if uh, if the white if the white man or the stranger of the other nations was the devil, why not just let him work? Yeah, yeah. On the Sabbath. Right. Most That's I said right. don't let them work. That's right. Sure. So they, they're right. supposed to keep the Sabbath day, man. What verse you have? What's uh, verse 10? I think that's I'm at 11. No, I just wrote it. Well, you can read that verse again with the stranger. Go to Deuteronomy 26. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thy, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor the stranger that is within thy gates. Right, and this proves that this is talking. This is not talking about Israelite foreigners. Yep. Why do I say that? Because the Israelite foreigners already got the law. They already know, man. The Israelite foreigners, they already know that they're supposed to keep the Sabbath. Six days you rest, seventh day you rest. Uh, well, six days you work, the seventh day you rest, man. So this is talking about the other nations. No That's shadow right. of a doubt. That's right. You got that in Deuteronomy 26 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 26 verse 12. All right, so basically we prove how um the Israel how the strangers is going to keep the Passover, right? How the strangers are supposed to keep the Sabbath day. Uh go you can get that Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 26 verse 12. And when thou hast made an end of Titan. Oh, okay, this is the law of Titan, right? Keep going. When thou hast made an end of Titan, all the tithes of thine increase the third year, which is the year of Titan and has given it onto the Levite. All right, so the Titan is supposed to be for the Levite. Keep going. The stranger. Wait, what? The stranger. Wait, I thought the Most High was racist. <laughs> I thought the Most High didn't care about the other nations. I thought it was all about Israel. But the Titan is for what? The stranger. Keep going. The fatherless mm -hmm. and the widow, that they may eat within the gates Woo. and be filled. And be filled, man. That's it on that? That was verse 12, right? Yeah, verse 12. You get Zechariah chapter 14. Yeah. Right, man. So the Titan is supposed to be for um, the stranger suit. So what Bible are they reading? The KKK version? The KKK Bible, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's okay. crazy. You get Zechariah 14 and 16. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 16. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king. Woo! These talking about the, this is gonna prove that these talking about the other nations, these other nations in the future is gonna worship the king. Keep going. The Lord of hosts and to keep the feast of tabernacles. To keep the what? The feast of tabernacles. To keep the feast of tabernacles, keep going. And it shall be that whoso will not come up all the all of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. All right, keep going. And if the family of Egypt go not up and come not that have no rain, there shall be the plague, wherewith the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. Ooh, smoke the heathen. This is talking about the other nations That's right. that they're going to keep the feast of, uh, feast of tabernacle as well. Mm -hmm. 
19. You go to verse 19, yeah. This shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all the nations. Of what? All, of all nations. No, Israelite foreigners. Of all nations. No, the Most High is racist. They're not supposed to keep the Passover, the, the Sabbath, the... Uh, the uh, they, what did it say? All nations. <laughs> keep going. That come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Man, so even in the future, they're going to have an inheritance and they're going to keep the feast days, man. That's right. This is clear cut proof, man. I mean, the sword. I'm, yep. <laughs> Y'all better repent, man. <laughs> Y'all gotta repent, man. Keep the law of the Most High, man. Man, this is a law that you can keep. You can get uh, Matthew chapter 28. 28. And 19. Chapter 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. What did Christ say? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. So this is Christ. Christ said he's supposed to teach all nations, man. They call this the Great Commission. So he's supposed to teach all nations. Keep going. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That's right. You get Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. So Christ said he's supposed to teach all nations, man. All nations. So it so like I said, what Bible are they reading, man? He's supposed to teach all nations. He's supposed to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, man. So twenty or so something like that. You guys get twenty nine in the shot. So yeah, man, so like I said, man, we're not racist, and the Most High never promoted the Israelites to be racist, man. Isaiah 49 6. Revelations, chapter 7, verse 9. After this I behold, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations. Of what? Of all nations. Of all nations. This is talking about um, when Christ come back, um, he's going to seal the 144,000. Yep. And it's going to be a great multitude, man. A great multitude of all nations. Keep going. And kindreds, and peoples, and tongues stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, and Psalms in their hands. Right, man. You can't, in their hands. Okay. Yep. So you can't go against that, man. All nations, it says, man. That's right. All nations, um, all nations, kindreds, tongues, and peoples, man. Not just Israelites, man. Get that 49 to 6. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob. Right, so we're supposed to be out here to raise up the tribes of Jacob. And Keep going. And to restore the preserved of Israel. Right, to raise up the preserve of Israel because Israel's in, in a bad state. They're lost. Keep going. I will also give thee a light to the Gentiles. No, um, tell the Gentiles they're not going to make it to the kingdom. Have them bow down to your feet. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. So that don't make sense. How's... How are you supposed to be racist, but it clearly says we're supposed to be a light to the Gentiles? That's right. That's clear. That's clear, man. The Most High gave them up to a reprobate mind, man. Sure. Scribes and Pharisees, man. The Most High is not dealing with all that racism, man. That's right. You got a precept? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was just... In Deuteronomy, when you read Deuteronomy 28th chapter, verse 43, it talks about the stranger being um, coming above you very high. That's the same stranger that you read in uh, Exodus and all throughout the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So when, when racist Israelites say that the stranger is foreign Israelites, that's not foreign Israelites. Those are other nations. You know? That's right, man. Other nations. Yeah, 2 and 8. Okay. Romans chapter 2, verse 8. But unto them that are contentious, do not obey. But unto them that are contentious, and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness. 
indignation and wrath. Right, so if you're not obeying the truth, the Lord is stranger, it's going to be wrath unto you, man. Unto you racist Israelites, man. Keep right. going. What's going on now? Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil. Right, man. So it's not about skin color. It's not about race. It's about your works, man. That's what it's about. It's about your works. So it says tri tribulation, anguish upon every soul of man. Keep going. Upon every soul of man that doeth evil. Of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. That's right. Hold, hold that. So to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Right? Keep going. Right. Verse 10. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good. To the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Right. So if we're supposed to be racist, how come this, How come they're going to get glory and peace, man? That's right. Man. They're going to get glory and peace. And even the Sabbath, they're going to get rest if they do well, man. Keep That's going. Right. For there is no respect of persons <laughs> with the Most High. There is no respect of a person with the Most High. What verse you at? Verse 11. Go to verse 11. Now listen to this part. Oh, verse 12? Right. Oh, you? Oh, yeah. Go to verse 11. Again. Verse 11. For there is no respect of persons with the Most High. That's it. And verse 12. Yeah, you go. Verse 12. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. But as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. That's right. Proving that's talking about the other nations, man, because they don't have the law. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's that's not that. Okay, Deuteronomy 10 and 17. Yeah. So the Mosai said he's no respecter of person, man. No respecter of person. Okay, you can get that too. Romans chapter 2, verse 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. But the doers of the law shall be justified. Right, that's right. The doers of the law is going to be justified. So the stranger want to, um, if they want to convert to be a Jew, like it says in Esther, be uh, one born among the Israelites, right? Uh, they're going to be justified, man. They're going to have that inheritance. You got that in Deuteronomy? Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 17. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords. A great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons. Regardeth not persons like we read in Romans. Keep going. Nor taketh regard. He doeth, he doth excuse the judgment of the fatherless and widow and loveth the stranger. And he, he loveth what? Loveth the stranger. No, we're supposed to be racist. Loveth the stranger. You're supposed to love the stranger, man. They're going to, they're not, they're going against the Most High right now, man. That's right. You racist Israelites are going against the Most High. Keep going. And giving him food and raiment. Wait, the Most High give the stranger what? Food and raiment. That's, that's clear, man. We finished seven. Yeah. Verse 19. Love ye therefore the stranger. Woo! For ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Right. Love the strangers, man. Because we're strangers in Egypt, proving this. This is talking about the other nations. I'm gonna get one more. Right, right. Right. One. You get uh, Luke two and thirty-two. This is clear, man. You can't say nothing against this, man. Clear proof that your uh, Israelites are not supposed to be racist, man. And the Most High never uh, promoted that, man. Never. That's right. You're supposed to love the stranger like how you love yourself. You get Luke two and thirty-two. Luke chapter two, verse thirty-two. A light. To lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Two different nations, man. The Gentiles and the Israelites, right? We're right. supposed to uh, we supposed to show light to the Gentiles, man, to the That's other right. nations. So, some if a, uh, another nation come up to you, and all uh, honestly, you don't even know if uh, if, if they're Israelite That's right. That's right. by That's right. the skin color. Oh, they'd be like, um, oh, look at his spirit. He looked like an Israelite, but you're a carnal man. You got flesh. You don't know the spirit of you don't know what the spirit of a man is, man. You don't know. Yeah, no. 